G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here. Now this morning I'm just doing another lake session. Um, I'm in between this bad weather, we've had a bit of rain, there's more rain coming, it's windy, it's pretty average conditions, but um, yeah, it's pretty much the, the only break in the weather I'm gonna have a, a shot at getting out in. So I've just come down to one of the Gold Coast lakes. Um, you know, these places are dotted all along the coastline. You know, they've been dug out and built up around and you know, old quarries and whatnot. And um, yeah, if they've got a bloody intake pipe or a pipe that flows water in, yeah, they've always got fish in them. So this is one of my favorites. Um, goal of today is I want to get something on this A-Rig. Gonna you know, throw that around a bit and just throw some top water and some brim stuff and yeah, should be a good little session. So here we go. All right, just gonna start off throwing top water. Just throwing a little crossfires bent. Just on my Lou's TLC 2000. I got 19 pound braid on this one and a 14 pound leader. And this is just a speed stick, seven six, eight to 15 pound. It's like a flats rod, but nice and long, soft tip. Punch these baits out nicely. <laughs> that, that was cool. Oh, he was there again. Come on, give me one on top water. All right, surface has been pretty quiet, so I've taken that crossfire off. I'm gonna go a vibe. Little jackal mask. I always find if you've got a lure with a ring on it, tie hard to the ring. Tie blood knot, clinch knot, whatever you tie. If you've got a lure with an eyelet and you want vibration, tie a loop knot. If it's just a jig head and you're not real fast, I'd tie the same sort of knot here. Clinch knot, double clinch. Done. Cut the tag. Try the A rig. Little bait school all in one. If I get a fish on it, I'll explain this a bit better a bit later on. Let's get a fish first. So I've got to catch a fish here. Let's get a free name. Yes, there we go. Finally a fish. Oh, little flathead. Oh, yeah, dog. There we go, little dog. That's been a slow morning to get that thing. Should be brim all along this, man. This bait should be getting eaten. Something bad's happened. Yes, there we go. Is it a herring or a tarpon or something? Coming straight at me. Oh, it's a bloody flathead. There we go. Second fish of the morning. Another flathead. Something's up, man. Where are the brim? I don't know what's going on.
Yes. Oh, another fish. Missed it. Got him. Another flathead. Oh, there's two of them. There we go, that's the best fish of the session so far. Nice flathead, just ate that jackal mass vibe. You know, I struggled all morning. The brim aren't playing the game. I couldn't get anything on top water. You know, I've adapted. Caught a few flathead, they sort of showed their presence and yeah, I've just stuck with the technique that they like, just that little bait fish pattern, just that uh, little vibe, getting the job done. All right, there's a few flathead about, I'll see if I can get a flathead on my A-Rig. That'll do to open the account. Hmm, it'll happen. I'll get something on that. Every time I get buddy fouled up on the bottom, it's these little muscles. Tiny little muscles growing. Tiny as. Yes, there we go. Another flatty, eh? Another flatty. Oh, the brim aren't playing the game, but a few flathead about. He's a better one again. Yeah, he's a better one too. He's got it down deep. This is just that TLC 2000. I've got 19 pound braid and a 14 pound leader, so. Not a bad leader for a fish this size. Oh, he's shaking his head. Now he's going back. go nice little flathead just on that mass vibe 60 good one about 65 60 odd yeah nice fish like i said there was a fish kill in here or well, mate of mine reckon there was a fish kill in here and if there has been that'd explain what's going on with the brim and stuff but yeah i don't know why some survive and some don't i get it with the mullet and the tarp on but yeah i don't know what's going on but anyway, I can't complain. All right, got a few fish on the bloody mass vibe. Trying to get something on this A-Rig. I'm just anchored it with two quarter ounce ones at the bottom and three one eighths on top. So there's a bit of weight in it, but all that drag in the water doesn't sink to the bottom. Like, doesn't just drag, it's pretty good. Oh, 
I might just be a bit much from a bit too much. Yeah, straight away. Another flat out or what? Shaking his head a lot, come to the surface. I don't know what this one is. Probably a flathead, but got some good head shakes. Yeah, another flathead. <laughs> Going all right for a flathead. on that mass vibe, just scoffing it. Just a nice little bait fish, mullet, you know, presentation. And another nice lizard. I think he's a good high 50s. Yeah, like I said, I normally smack the brim all around these edges, but it's just non-existent, so going to chase and flathead, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. At least we're putting fish in the yak. Yeah, we're about halfway through the session, man. It's um, surprising. This place has changed a lot. Uh, I think I've been 11 months since I've been here so it's been a while like I said I believe there was a fish kill you can see all this calcified like calcium or something I don't think that was on that grass last time like I'll have to check that video but I don't recall any of that being there um, you know something's something's going on here but flat out of playing the game yeah I'm having fun yeah it's a good session How crazy are these mussels? So the mussels will be open while they're down there. This lure ticks over and they close up on the hook. Hook brushes them and they just close their mouth, close the shell, get stuck on there. Yeah, there's another one. Oh, I'm missing. There he is. Little guy. Yeah, just a little guy. Not bad, not bad at all. Considering I was expecting to catch Brim one after the other. Oh yes, there's another one. Just as I was paddling. Always back the drag off. I've got the hooks in him. I don't know how big he is yet. They come at you. Oh, another little guy. There you go, number seven. Those bloody mullet are ridiculously large. You'd hate to get one of them up ya. Yeah. There's another one. <gasps> Dropped it. Damn it, how'd I drop that? The good fish, man, that went right in its mouth. Damn it. Ah, the good fish. No, it's a good fish when that whole bait goes in their mouth and comes back all folded up and hooked on itself. 
just in its mouth. Spat it out before I got a hook in it. Yep, there we go, another one. Gonna be of any size, this guy. No, he's not huge. He's all right still. Flathead, mate, they're on fire. Oh. All right, he's up, buddy. Another one. Getting sick of them wetting the sunnies. Another good flathead. Smashing that soft vibe. A little bit of S factor. Because why not? Keep them coming back if they miss it. So I'm just hopping this mass vibe. It's pretty shallow. A couple foot where I'm landing it, but yeah, just keep hopping it, keep it moving. Flathead seeds, it'll chase it down. Perfect little bait fish. Beauty of this bait too, I can fish it deep, I can burn it, I can cast it like far if I see tarpon or something roll up, I can get it to them. Pretty versatile bait. If we can get a proper big lizard, I'll be stoked. Yeah, oh, drag, tighten your drags, kids. Not a little flatty. The old thumb in the bum trick. Oh, he's up. Look at that. Simple as that. I think that was nine. Number nine. Flathead everywhere. Those mullet are ridiculous. Oh, I had another little guy. Yeah, something bigger. What's this thing? He's a bit bigger, is he? He's just going hard. <gasps> Don't. Oh man, he. I thought he was going. I thought that was going to be big. <laughs> That's double digits on the flathead. There you go. Nice release. Awesome fish. Oh, I'm gonna get it back. Oh, I didn't hit record. Oh man. Yeah, 
in all that excitement, I just I was rushing to try and get that tarp on back in the water. Had this set up and didn't hit record. This should be rolling though. First one and hooked another one. Oh yeah, it's a better one. What happens when you pick the light right up? Straight through 12. Let's try that again, eh? giant herring big herring big herring oh this isn't gonna end well oh that's a big herring That's a big herring. That's a really big herring. Oh, he is gonna rub this through, no worries. Man, this thing, this thing's a big herring. Shore and bring him to somewhere to land him. 
He ran straight onto those bloody trees. Now he's going back. Oh man. Big herring, man. Oh, he's big, man. He's big. He's big. Stay on, buddy. You saw how quick that leader went on that fish before this one. Like, I must have him right in the hinge or in the roof of the mouth and the roof of the lip. Hey, buddy. Hey, how you doing, man? Good. Um, I just want to have you fishing in here. Yeah, sweet as, man. It's just private property. All good. You mind if I land this and I'll fuck off? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I want to see what it is. It's a big giant herring, dude. Yeah. Yeah. A light leader too, eh? Is that out there yep. Yeah, there's a nice little ledge right here. Yeah. If I land this, it's gonna be a miracle, man. Light leader, they got a raspy ass mouth. He's gone spastic a few times. Oh, stay out of there, don't go in there. Shit. Oh, he's wrapped up now. Stay there, stay there. Oh shit, don't go through me. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh. Where is he? He's under there. Oh, come here, buddy. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so close. Don't go now. If you pop off now, I'll be pissed. Oh, man. Turn around, that's it, turn. Yes! Fuck yeah. You wanna do me a favour seeing as you're there? Yep. Point this camera at me, eh? Yeah. Look at that thing. How is that for an epic giant herring, man? This thing's, oh, everything at 80. Solid as, heavy as, just ate that little swim prawn. I'm gonna get them back because I don't like being out of the water, man. Champion, dude. Thanks for kicking me out. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> Cheers, man. Oh, was that one not even on? Oh, now I didn't have this camera turned on. Far oh, out, man. Fuck it. 
Oh, here's the combo that did the damage. Just that little CS200, 15 pound braid, 12 pound leader. That's a quarter round jig head with one of Holt's production swim prawns on the Savage finesse rod, 7.3, one to three kilo. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Well, that leader's all chuffed up and scuffed up, man. That's epic. It's made my session. <laughs> I'm out of here now, old mates. Give me the hurry up. <laughs> Alright man, that's the end of the session. Um, made it back to the car. Yeah, I made it at the end there. Give me a little uh, move along, please, sir. So uh, I obliged. Yeah, that's a crazy session. Um, couldn't find a brim. Don't know what's going on there. Like I said, heard about some sort of fish kill. Could be the case. Yeah, I don't know. Ended up getting a couple of tarpon on. Didn't hit record on one of the ones where I was holding it up. The other one jumped off and managed to land that uh, massive giant herring just as the old matey was sort of saying oi. And uh, yeah, got him to hold the camera and stuff. So he's pretty cool. Um, yeah, maybe about like a, a 10 flathead or something. I don't know that many flathead. I got bloody flathead thumb. It's unheard of. Anyways, I'll throw all that together. Um, hope you like that. If you've got any questions, hit us up. Like, subscribe, share, all that sort of stuff. Hit us up in the comments. I'll answer your questions. Always do. Cheers, guys. Catch you next time. Point this camera at me, eh?